Art is a valued part of the city. And three utility boxes along West Village Drive between Mason and Monroe were used for the Zap art installation in Wagner Park. Three artists were tasked with zapping life into these big boxes. Each artist had a different plan for approaching their design. It will portray a tropical floral scene featuring botanicals such as Bird of Paradise, Frangipani. Um, it'll have a vibrant blue background and I'm going to be incorporating metallics and a little bit of shimmer so that it catches the light beautifully as you walk by. We have a compressed schedule today so my process may be a little bit different than I would normally do but what I'll likely do is sketch out the design atop the box and then create a base painting to cover up the green and kind of lay down a lot of color and like clean paint to work on top of and then I'll start building layers and details from there. I have pretty extensively prepared. It's going to be basically a really kind of crazy, busy foliage scene with lots of really bright and colorful plants and flowers, and I might throw in some like animal life in there too. I got a rough sketch, I guess. Parameters for the submission were a little bit different shape than the boxes we're painting. So I kind of had to adapt to my design a little bit. So pretty much the same, but a little extended free form, I guess, too. Creating these murals made for a unique canvas for the artist to work with and expand the ways they create. Normally I'm more of a digital artist, but I have been working on a lot of window murals lately, and I've been really inspired by that to start finding new avenues and work a lot larger. I'm more known for sculpture. A sculpture, I, uh, I use a lot of found material and objects. Found art materials, traditional art materials, be kind of expensive, and so I kind of just use whatever I could find to make things. and kind of turned into like kind of a love. I've been trying to uh, focus a little more on public art the last couple of years. I've kind of stumbled into public art and I kind of enjoy it and I hope to continue a little bit. So this is another stepping stone to get me to my goals. The Zap art installation is another example of how more art is being highlighted in Dearborn. I hope it creates a fine art, almost gallery on the street kind of feel to it.